My name is Anne Farwell, and I've invited Richard here to talk to us a little bit about antibiotic resistance. He was my student here at University of Gothenburg uh, some years ago, where he first told me his story. So welcome, Richard. Thank you. Would you uh, start by telling us what happened to you uh, at the beginning? Yeah, so I was uh, at Sri Lanka having just a vacation for two weeks, and mm -hmm. when I got home from there, it uh, started irritating in my eye. And I was like, no, it's just a regular infection or something. I'd, I'd check in the morning. And the day after then, I, uh, I realized that this is something more. I need to go into the hospital because this is, this is too much. Mm. So you went uh, to the local hospital yeah. here in Gothenburg. And uh, what did they say? Yeah, I was actually back home in Skåne. Oh, so sorry, I went back in Skåne. Yeah. So I went to, to the hospital there, and they thought this is this is an uh, infection. Mm -hmm. We'll uh, just look at it, test it, and give you some meds for it. Okay. And sent me home. Okay, so they gave you what is probably some antibiotic. Yeah. And they thought it was just your usual infection uh, that people get in their eye. And um, what happened then? Well. It didn't make anything better. Mm -hmm. It just actually got worse. So I went in again to check this is not working. Mm -hmm. to tell them that. And they quickly reali realized that this is not something ordinary. Mm. I mean, more needs to be done. So I was sent away to another hospital. Okay. Check. So you were referred to another hospital outside of Skona. Um, yeah. And what did they do at that point? Well, at, th at that point it actually got quite severe in my eye, so they admitted me for uh, one and a half week. And oh. So it, it got then worse and worse, and mm -hmm. uh, I've gotten a few different kinds of antibiotics drip in my eye, and uh, none of them were working. So they actually put you in the hospital when you went, you got referred there. Yeah. For one and a half weeks. And was it one eye or was it both eyes? It was only one eye, my okay. right eye. Okay. Um, and what did they tell you was wrong? Well, they didn't really know, so uh, they, they tested. They scraped, they tried to look at it, and of course they sent away to do cultures mm -hmm. to see if they could grow. Uh, so they took samples from your eye and tried to grow them in the lab. and. It, did they, did that succeed? No. No. So they were, seemed to be just guessing that this, we use this antibiotics because it usually works. Okay, okay. Um, so yet again, I tried uh, a lot of different kinds of antibiotics, mm -hmm. mostly as uh, drips in my eye, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. also some tablet. Okay. Drips. And then, so you were in the hospital for a week and a half, and then they uh, released you yep. a with uh, yet another kind of antibiotic, or did they think they knew what it was at that point? Uh, it was following a pattern of some kind of bacteria called Nocardia. Okay. So that's what they suspected it was. So they gave me the antibiotics that would help for Against a Nocardia, Nocardia. infection. Yeah. So I was sent home. Mm -hmm. And it actually got a bit better. Okay. So I thought, oh, they found it. Yeah. It's, it's good now. It's going to be good. But it just slowed it down, actually. So slowed it down, but slowly got worse mm -hmm. and worse again. Okay. So. And I think we have a picture of how your eye looked around this time yeah. that we'll put up on the screen. And it looks horrible, okay. of course. Uh, uh, so how were you living at this time? I was in a dark room. I was at home with uh, my parents and my family, which mm -hmm. I'm very grateful that they were there because I couldn't see. Mm. My eye was too messed up to be able to see. Mm -hmm. um, so I was mostly just being in a dark room. Yeah. yeah. So uh, now this latest antibiotic didn't work. Um, I assume you went back to the hospital. Yeah. And what happened then? Well, uh, at that point, it got in quite severe that they were thinking of transplant, the transplant of my uh, my cornea, to okay. get rid of most of the infection. Okay, so you left the hospital 
thinking they're going to do transplant of my cornea, yeah. that there was no treatment because they couldn't culture it. They didn't know what it was and none of the antibiotics were working. So uh, how did you feel about that? I mean, that's... Well, it's, it's horrible that they, they were going to do a transplant because that, that's never fun. No. But in the same way, it's also nice that they could do something mm. at least. Um, but then I got very happy when I actually got to the hospital and they said, we know what it is now. Oh. This is what it is. And I gave, they gave me a picture of it, actually. Yeah, and we'll show that picture as well. It, what's the name of the bacteria? Nocardia beigensis. Yes. So that's a gram-positive bacteria that is not that uncommon, but this particular strain was actually a very new strain. It had never been seen in Sweden, I think, at the time you had it. Do they know how you got infected with this bacteria? They have a theory that uh, I was diving in Sri Lanka mm -hmm. and I used lenses. So mm -hmm. in some way, some dirt got between my eye and the lens and made a wound. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it can be infected. Because I'm, I'm you know, I think that um, this bacteria is some kind of earth bacteria, mm -hmm. which is found in the water. So they quite early on said that, hmm, this might come from the water. Okay. Because I've been diving. Right. So now they knew what it was. Yeah. And that's great. So how did they treat it? Well, at first they had to send for the antibiotics because it, was, it wasn't available here in Sweden. So I had to w wait for another week for the antibiotics to mm. come. Okay. Yeah. And you finally got that antibiotic, um, which worked. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Uh, so uh, how long then did it take you to get better before you were able to see properly? It, it went slow. It mm. did, I'm not sure, maybe uh, well, a few months, mm -hmm. half a year, and well, I was, it was all gone by a year at least. Mm. And you see almost perfectly now, or as well as you did uh, <laughs> before? Well, uh, my right eye is a bit hazy or blurry. So okay. to speak, uh, and my distance measurement isn't the greatest. Mm -hmm. We should also mention in the photo of your eye that we showed, you also can see a lot of blood vessels that were um, forming because of the infection. Yeah. Uh, and I understand you had to take uh, medication for that as well. Yeah. yeah, they had to stop it because they didn't want to fill my eye with blood vessels. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, we're very happy that you are better now, but I think your story is very important to tell because it shows that anyone can get one of these infections that are, in your case, luckily, eventually treatable, but which can become quite severe in a very short period of time. So thank you very much. Thank you.